You can't escape the matrix when you're behaving like an NPC. Here are five ways to escape the matrix by taking the right actions to change your life. I see so many people say, oh, the matrix is after me to the point where it has been ridiculed. And the reason actually is because the government wants to make the matrix seem like a joke. Teachers are now having to develop their own resources to re-educate boys who are being brainwashed online. And believe me, it is not a joke. We are living in a binary universe and I'll talk about that in another one. But this happens every single time people start to realize that being healthy is a good thing, the government ridicule it. Working hard is a good thing, the government ridicule it. And people start to go in that direction. You know? And I've realized that most people who want to escape the matrix behave like an NPC. So tip number one, you want to be a action oriented person. Instead of thinking that the world is against you, instead of blaming the government. Not really, I blame the government. Instead of blaming other people and outside influences for your lack of success, I want you to blame yourself. I want you to take those actions. That is how you become player one, because you now have the ability to take on board your own mistakes, analyze what you've done wrong and then choose the right action. Tip number two is you actually want to work out. You know, in my opinion, NPCs, they all have that McDonald's body. You know, they all look kind of out of shape, a little bit jiggly, bingo wings on the side. That is the first sign of an NPC, you know, sat there on Facebook, you know, complaining about how hard life is and that the government is, is charging too much. You know, those type of people will be on universal credit or the new social credit that has been implemented into the UK. You know, I bet you didn't know that. They're doing a test group where they're gonna airdrop people 1,600 pounds completely for free for doing nothing and sitting on their ass. The reason is, is because they're gonna be implementing social credit for all of these jiggly NPCs. Step three to move away from being an NPC and towards a player one is by having a vision and having a goal. Believe me, if you're around people, or friends, family, they might even be them that don't have a goal, you should be very, very afraid because the person who does not have something that they're working towards will take away from you. So you want to have a goal. You want to have something you're working towards. And it doesn't need to be monetary. It might be philanthropy. You might just want to deliver an impact to people. But just by having that goal at the top of your mind, it's going to allow you to do good things and to move away from the evil. You know, jealousy, envy and greed are traits of people who have no clear goal. And that brings me on to step four. You want to have a routine, you know, a routine that you're going towards to help you achieve those goals. Because if you're taking those actions, then you are becoming player one. You are becoming the ordainer of your destiny, as people like to say. You know, you are controlling your environment. You're doing the right actions and it's going to put you around the right people. It's going to put you in places that you could only dream about because you are taking the right actions. And the final step, which is step five, is to stop being hard on other people and start being hard on yourself. You know, there have been so many times throughout my life where I've looked around and I've seen the negatives in other people. I've seen, oh, why aren't you doing this? Why isn't this person doing that? That guy should go gym. I'd, I'd be the guy dishing out advice, but I wouldn't be taking those actions for myself. And if you want to be player one, if you want to be the guy who drives a nice car, the guy who does the nice things for people, then my friend, you have to be hard on yourself because other people have their own problems. Other people struggle with their own things. And if you can focus your time and your energy on yourself and on the own things that you should be doing to make the right decisions, then you are doing the right thing and you are breaking the chains and removing yourself from being an NPC. And for those of you guys that stayed, here's a bonus tip. If you've ever watched The Matrix before and you've seen that when he goes from being stuck in The Matrix to breaking out, the key was belief. Belief is the bonus tip because if you can believe in yourself, you actually do have belief and you move away from having anxiety and you move away from being depressed and you actually believe that your goals and your vision is true. Then my friends, you'll be taking the right actions and you'll be moving to player one. So I wanted to keep this video short. If you do like this style of video, if you did find it a little bit entertaining, then please like, comment, share and subscribe. And if you want to become a player one and join the 1000 other people who are doing the exact same completely for free, join the Side Hustle Club in the description.